I want to address this recall nonsense. Most of you know that the characters behind this latest folly are the same people who have tried this before. This comes at a time when our country is struggling with a subprime financial issue and an energy crisis that has given us $5 a gallon of gas. This poses a very real threat to our way of life, and as a leader of this community, I cannot and will not be distracted from keeping my promises and providing the leadership necessary to meet the needs of this community during these challenging times. Two years ago, this community elected me and members of the council on a platform to revitalize this community and to wake us up to the reality that we are a resort town with a resort economy. <clears throat> Since then, we formed the Urban Renewal Authority, we acquired land for city projects, adopted a master plan uh, for downtown, improved 4th Street, and successfully attracted hotel and community housing development proposals. The fact that these people want to recall me for doing exactly what I said I was going to do uh, reeks of the old style politics that has pushed this community to the tipping point, and that is unacceptable. If Annie and her co-signers thought that I was going to put my head in the sand and ignore the fact that retailers and restaurants are struggling and cannot stay open, and that we are more and more dependent on a workforce that has to commute for over 75 miles than they thought wrong. At the June 30th council meeting, the president of the council, Baird, made it very clear to Annie and her co-signers that their accusations and personal attacks on me were erroneous and there are consequences for such behavior. Specifically, you should all be aware that contrary to the purported reasons of the recall, I want to take the, the four items that Annie's listed and, and, and go down them uh, one by one. One, I did not vote myself a raise during a budget crisis. In fact, the city council voted the mayor ra a raise uh, after more than six years uh, of not having one and prior to the last election. And there was not a budget crisis then, and there is not a budget crisis now. Two, the retreats were indeed lawfully held outside the city of Ketchum during my tenure. The venue choices were designed to foster a relaxed and informal opportunity for open communication. Those retreats succeeded and enabled me and the city council, planning and zoning commission, and staff to work more effectively. These retreats help foster an atmosphere of teamwork and respect. Significantly, the retreats were duly noticed meetings and approved by the city attorney at which this public was welcome. Three, I have not, nor would I ever operate the budget outside of the law. Any statement to the contrary is false and outrageous. The city of Ketchum follows the best accounting practices and continues to have a balanced budget. And lastly, I have listened to my, uh, I've listened to my electric, electorate and I have not engaged in any abuse of power. In fact, I believe that I'm the subject of this recall because I am implementing the very vision uh, that our, uh, I am implementing our community's collective vision and I have no plans to, st to stray off course. We have much work to do and events in our world are making the tasks we face more challenging and more pressing than we ever imagined. We have no time to allow for divisive and self-serving behavior by an embittered few to slow us down. We must work together and continue to evolve as a community toward a sustainable economy, a sustainable lifestyle, a sustainable existence if we want to preserve the precious gift that we call ketchup. So I'm just going to focus on doing the city's best business and we're going to get into our agenda and that's that. So thank you very much for sitting through that.